Hello, this is Wempire here to talk about twirling. Twirling, of course, is the circular motions that you see in the Filipino martial arts, primarily with the sticks, but it can be done with bladed weapons such as the machete or the knife and uh, even, even empty hand as well. But uh, so these circular motions are done in, like I said, the Filipino martial arts, Kali, Eskrima, and Arnis. A lot of times you're going to see it with single or double stick. And uh, these motions, I mean, they look amazing. You know, if you see someone that's really, really smooth and very skilled, that they have a high skill, it looks like art in motion. And it feels good to, to see someone develop their craft that much and, and to be able to see a high level like that. It's, it's awesome. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they could use that in a real life situation because, you know, just because they're super smooth with the sticks, you know, that's like, you know, being really, really good with the piano or really, really good with a yo-yo. It doesn't mean that they can fight. It just means they have high skill. All right. So being able to apply it to self-defense or combat is a different story. And I'm here to kind of help you guys. What can you do? to do that okay so right now if you train and and you do practice these circular motions boom 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 in the air that's fine that's that's great nothing wrong with that okay and you want to get that as smooth as possible and get your body mechanics in there and all that awesome awesome job but that kind of air training all right is not practical application. So just understand that what you're working on on at that moment doing the air stuff is body mechanics, okay? And body mechanics can help in combat, but it's not necessary. Because you know, you could see a big strong guy in the street who has poor body mechanics and he could whoop you could beat up some people, you could, you know, gorilla thump people. You know, throw them against the wall and just beat the snot out of people. He doesn't have body mechanics. He doesn't need it. You don't need it for combat, okay? It's nice to have it, and it can help you for sure. It could really, really help you. But at the end of the day, if that's all you're working on, body mechanics, it does not mean that you can fight. So in order to be able to use it for combat, these circular motions, to become combat ready, um, the first thing that I recommend is understand that it's two different things. Okay. So maybe it's better in the beginning is that you, you be sure you practice the circular motions, but then when it comes time for combat, tell yourself, I'm just going to stick with the basics. I'm just going to do this, this, and this. I'm just going to work with just that, the up and the down, the diagonals and the side to side. That's all I'm going to work with, you know, and, and that's a really good place to start. And, you know, just, just understand the, the difference right there. And then what you're doing over here with the circular motions, it's not necessarily you're going to use those techniques for combat. It's more so that that is going to improve your body mechanics. It's going to make you more smooth. It's going to develop more uh, hand-eye coordination and skill so that when you do this kind of stuff in combat, it's going to help you attribute wise. So it, it kind of helps you more in the background, if that makes sense. It's not a technique, oh, that I'm getting and I'm directly applying. Not like that. It's, it's more something that's helping you behind the scenes kind of thing. So if you view it that way, I think it's a good thing. It's like a boxer doing jump rope and stuff. He, he's not going to actually jump rope in the ring and fight that way. No, but the jump rope and, and the sit-ups and the, all those kinds of things help him out when he fights. So the circular motions, view it the same way. It's something that's going to help you out when you fight. Not directly, but more so indirectly. Okay, so that that's level one. Okay. Level two is now I want to help you guys to where you're going to get those twirling motions and you're going to directly use it in combat. And for that, A, you kind of have to know how you're going to use it. And the two major ways I've said to you guys many times before is number one is it's combos. Okay. 
the circular motions are com combo attacks. They're combination attacks. So one, two, you know, one, two. You could do three, four more combos. You could go different angles and whatnot, but it gives you multiple attacks. That's a combo. Number two, the other thing is to build momentum. So I'm building momentum to attack. Okay. So uh, the idea of the momentum is that I could build the momentum right here. I don't have to bring my arm way over here and then try to hit you, trying to get that power, make it a haymaker. I could do it right here. You know, so if you get this circle that I made right here and you pull it out, then the length becomes, you know, like, like if I was doing a haymaker, but I'm doing it right here. So as I'm doing it right here, I could use this as a defense, you know, I could put something in your face to distract you, but I'm getting that momentum to, to build a little bit more power instead of just going right here like this, instead of just, just here. I'm going here. So that loop gives extra uh, buildup of speed and power. Okay. So those are the two ideas. Okay. Uh, combos and momentum. There's more. There's more. For example, if the guy has a, a block, you could use a circular motion to get around, to get around and cut, to get around their, their defense or to put the weapon onto the target where you want. So that kind of circular motion helps you get in there. Disarms could come in there as well. And uh, like the sky is the limit. There's, there's many other ways, but uh, first is just understanding some of those strategies. And the next, the really big thing is you gotta make contact. You have to make contact against a target, okay? Not on a person because no one wants to be that, right? But onto a target. That's why I have the tires. That's why I have uh, uh, wooden poles. I have pallets. Um, I have pallets now, that, that multiple pallets that I stack up that I could use for cutting. I could use for striking with the sticks. Uh, I could use for knife throwing. So uh, that's, that's fun to do. And, and uh, like I said, the cardboard boxes, and the tires, I mean, all that give me a different kind of um, a texture and different kind of hardness and, and stuff. So I, I get to play around with that. And uh, that's what you need to do. You need to actually make contact and you have to make the contact with combat force. So it can't just, just be, you know, like this, you have to make it you know, real force that you, that you're going to, um, apply. And at the same time, it has to test your cardio as well, you know, because it's not just combat force. It's also, you have to be moving around like it's combat. And then once you do that, then you get a much, much more realistic picture. And those are the elements that's going to help your skills, the twirling st skills, become combat ready. So I hope that makes sense. And um, yeah, so I really, really recommend people to, to practice that. And if not, if not, I'm not here to put anyone down. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, we're all just trying to promote, promote martial arts training, um, Filipino martial arts or just martial arts period, you know, trying, trying to get people to, to train, become more disciplined, nicer to each other, you know, respectful towards each other. To me, that's all martial arts. So, you know, if you do the twirling just in the air and not onto targets yet, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Blade, you got to earn your way to the blade. Don't, don't start on day one or week one. There, there's no way that doesn't make sense, right? Minimum of six months of dedicated training under an instructor before you could get to a live blade, in my opinion. Okay. So, uh, yeah, make sure that if you are doing the twirling practice, understand that that's for body mechanics development. And then when you fight, you're going to fight a little differently. That's okay. Just understand that it's different. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care folks.